Why did the lights go out? Don't speak, speak. Don't make a sound. Are you okay? I beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh. Right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's the only place I get any peace. Oh, that's... I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was like... Infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears. Gone. We then. I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Right. Maybe. Just ask for me. My name's May. With a Y. Got it. Okay, I got a bus ticket for 2 p.m. I also called home and had a chat with Mima. What did she say? That I didn't give my dad enough of a chance, that he loves me more than I realize, blah, 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 and we both need to try harder. I don't know. Maybe she's right. What's in the bag? This? Just some food? For once you start the hike? It'll make the money last a little longer. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do any of this. Anyway, I guess this is it. You've done so much for me. I don't even know how to say thank you. You don't have to say it. You did a lot for me, too. I, I should get going. And I should start reading Jane Eyre, because apparently I'll be back for the last week of school after all. <laughs> Goodbye, Jay. Bye, Vanessa. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House 
then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a described Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Holt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make <sighs> Sorry you got pulled into all this. At least you're safe now. Morning. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Mm -hmm. Were you there? No, sir. I'm just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? Arizona. Oh, yeah? Because you have Montana plates. You go to school down there or something? Uh, no, sir. I just live there. Well, that'd be a long way to come for a concert. Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. They're still getting sent. I just went to the DMV. Didn't they give you provisionals? What are provisionals? I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, papa, two, one, five, seven, tango. Shit, 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 shit. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Huh. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, are you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lecture's coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're <laughs> dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just... Weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? 
Is that Zoe? Relax, honey. She isn't dropping out. You bet your pants she isn't. Not without talking to us first. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Not seeing it. What is that? Huh. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? there. Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Hey there, Zeusy, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, 
Uh, uh, maybe. I, I, I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh, God or... damn it. I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some hmm. kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it, huh? he pays for it. Uh. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Hmm. Don't tell Shelby. Hmm. But I know I didn't break my darn because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? <gasps> Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmare started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I 
thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. <laughs> or I was going to, anyway. So, you're still going to the pool? I spend so much time there, I'm growing fins. <laughs> hey, go cool car. Was this yours? Once upon a time, drove that puppy all around the country. Why'd you get rid of it? Oh, you know, couldn't afford the upkeep. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Mm. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. <sighs> how can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you, too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool, and then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. Oh, sweet. 
sweetheart. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me, trying to remember you, trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Dear Zoe, this is now my third letter. I haven't heard back from you, so I hope you're getting them. I was thinking today about the last time I saw you. You were a little kid, clinging to your family. I was an 18-year-old, clinging to the idea of freedom. I remember your face when we took your dad away. It felt right to me, knowing you'd get clear of us. But in other ways, nothing that day felt right. I know my family scarred you for life. They left their mark on me, too. I wonder every day who I could have been if we hadn't robbed that house. There's a lot I want to say to you, Zoe. Things to ask. Things to explain. About how we came to be at the motel that night and what happened in the mountains a few days afterward. I'm sure you learned some of it as you got older, but there's other things I'm sure you don't know. Please write back, Zoe. I need to hear from you. Yours, Jay. Hey there, how's the hike? You okay? I, uh, I was trying to work out where I am. Oh, well, let's see. This here's Jacob's Ridge, and that down there is Lake Blackfoot on the de facto Canadian border. Oh. And if you continue up that trail over there, you'll get to the top of Blackfoot Falls. Where's the border station? Further east, it's out of range for a day hike. You uh, got a campsite set up somewhere? No, not yet. Well, where's your stuff? Backpack or... Uh... I don't... I was gonna build a shelter. Build one, huh? <laughs> well, I admire that, but uh, that's not exactly... Uh... You got a backcountry permit? Sorry, but you're gonna have to head back down. Can't I just stay a little longer? Enjoy the view? Hmm. Why don't I stay too? 
I was about to have some tea. Want some? Uh, no thanks. So, what's your name? Uh, Michael? Michael. I'm Leland. You're, uh, a park ranger? Yep. Did stints in Zion, Bryce <laughs> Canyon, Pinnacles. Hold this for me. Ever been to Yellowstone? Yeah, I spent nearly a decade there. There can be nothing in the world more beautiful than the Canyon of the Yellowstone. That was said by... Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. So, you're a nature lover too, huh? I used to spend a lot of time in the forest near my house. You've sort of got my dream job. Well, fill out an application down at the visitor center. Really? It's that easy? Sure. You can clear the background check. You know, I've seen a lot of crazy things up here. Forest fires, avalanches. But I always wondered, is it really necessary that we carry these? But we are Border Patrol. In the rare event some criminal makes a run for it, we need to be prepared. <sighs> Look, you seem like a nice kid, but we got a stolen car down at the trailhead, which State PD says belongs to an 18-year-old who shot up a motel in Arizona and was last seen headed north. Now, you got no water bottle, no headlamp, and you sure aren't dressed for camping without a tent. So, what's the deal here, Michael? Please, let me keep hiking. Oh, son, I can't do that. I've got a responsibility. Can't you just help me? Look, it's no kind of life running from the law. You'll be living with that shadow over you forever. Let me take you down the hill. I've never once fired this thing, and I sure don't want to start now. You ever start down a road and know you're headed the wrong way? But... You've gone too far to turn back. It's never too late for that. I'm just so tired of running. From something I didn't even do. Didn't you? I mean, I was there. At the motel. But I was barely involved. And I, I definitely never killed anyone. But you know what? My life wasn't all that special. If they want to give me the death penalty, like they say... Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just how this ends. Okay, look. Another mile from here, there's a sign that says no entry. You follow that path and there's a hill you can scramble down right across the border. Why? Maybe I'm gullible. But I got goosebumps just now when you were talking. If you were lying, you're a hell of an actor, and if you weren't, no way you deserve death. Go on now. You and me, we never saw each other. Thank you.
You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. Roosevelt, what's got into you? Don't speak, speak. Don't make a sound. My God, Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How did you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but <sighs> in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler got away too. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too, and that's it. It's just me now. In all these years, you've never been recognized? Just one time. When I first crossed the border, there was this ranger. His kindness saved my life. Since then, no. But I don't go far, library, the market, that's about it. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She's been working behind the scenes on some TV show. She did well for herself. Thought about writing her too, but I don't know. We said our goodbyes Maybe it's right to leave it that way. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. 
Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why, why'd you start writing me? I told you, there's a lot I never got to talk about. I know, but why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me after everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time, but you also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? You're a hard person to feel angry at, Jay. Maybe in my nightmares. But in real life, you're... You're just a guy. Who did some terrible things. Jay. Are you okay? I mean... Are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That my family was just pushing me around. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Uh. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait. I, I was going to make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay, I, I don't know. It's rabbit. And it's beautiful here at sunset. Rabbit, huh? Ah, they're so good braised. Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun,
Why do some of us find ways to endure? while others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh... It's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward does dream. All of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easy on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two up. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa?